Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you my mini haul from Amazon. I got myself a palette to use for my gouache watercolors. I already have a watercolor palette that I use, but I, for some reason with gouache, I don't like this containers these wells I guess that that's what they call them because I believe that or I feel like this when you have a brush it's hard to I mean for me I don't know everybody has their preference to get especially gouache colors out so I am gonna be giving this to my little girl and I'm going to be getting showing you my new haul and also, I've been reading this book by uh, Sandra Moggy. And in that book, she mentioned that um, if you have... I wanted to get a metallic palette. But she mentioned that if you put uh, gouache or watercolor in metallic palettes, it changes the... I believe the color of the... Or it affects the watercolor. So that's why I am doing a... Um, oops. I'm going to be getting uh, showing you the new watercolor palettes or my gouache palette that I'm going to be using specifically for my gouache watercolor and I'm going to open this quickly just to show you guys I really did not want to get a plastic one because I don't like the beading uh, comment below if you guys also have the same issues with um, beading of your um, plastic watercolor uh, palette um, but I, I've been re doing some research and I found that if you have, they said if you have, um, a watercolor palette that you should use glue on it. So this is the one I got from Amazon. I'm going to leave a link. Uh, I'm going to leave a link for this one. Um, this one, I believe. This is it here. How many wells are they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's twenty-four. I got this to use with this water. This my uh. Oh, let's see. This is Dela Rowley, Rowney. So this is what I'm going to be using it with. But just to show you, I was I heard that. To avoid to uh, avoid the beading, I'm gonna put this away. Put the glue, rub it all in the wells, rub it in there, and let it dry and wipe. That it will stop the beading. So I'm gonna give that a try and update you guys how that goes. But this is very sturdy. Um, it's not too heavy, and I believe that it has. You know, it should it should work well for what I want to do. I just don't like. Um, it's I feel like the wells are just much bigger so that's why I was going for this one so um, and I'm gonna show you my De La Rowney Gouache I'm getting this one because I'm gonna be using this one hopefully it doesn't give me some kind of reaction because I noticed that my Paul Rubens watercolor once i handle it i have this taste immediately my hands i don't know, i believe our hands are, has the ability to absorb chemicals or chem or some kind of chemicals or something in it but for me i'm very sensitive once i handle this watercolor here once i touch it i start feeling that i can taste it in my tongue i don't put my hand in my tongue but i just start I can just taste it and I don't like that feeling because I have other water other watercolors. This is Paul Rubens, the gouache. I'm going to show you the box here. This is the Paul Rubens opaque watercolor paint and it's 36 colors in here and it's 15 ml. Just gonna quickly open it to show you, but I don't know. Maybe have any of you experienced that before? 
where your watercolor has if you're very sensitive if if you handle it, it you can taste it in your mouth and so this is it um i bought this on amazon but i'm not going to be using it because i don't know if it's something in there is toxic to me or or i'm just as i said i'm very sensitive so um, my little girl is going to be using this i'm not uh I, numerous times i've tried it i've ha had the same experience so i'm not going to use it again this is i put i uh this is it in here I put it in this right here so I'm gonna be giving this as a gift to my little girl she's gonna she's interested in watercolor but I tr said I should try this one to see how how I feel with it because this is my second attempt of trying to use um, guouch watercolor for my uh, for my illustrations so this is it um, it comes this is 24 and it would fit perfectly in here so I'm gonna do later I'm gonna come back and do a, a swatching of each color in the next video but I just want to show you that uh, you know it's not that bad to use a plastic palette if you can um, just put glue on it and to avoid the beading so in my next video, I'll be showing you, I'm going to be empty, uh, putting samples of this in here and I'm going to update you guys how, how I feel or, or if there's any reaction to this, but this is 12 ml in here and they're 24 pieces. Um, I've heard good things about it. Um, Sandra Morgan speaks very highly of this brand, De La Rowney. So that's why I'm trying it. Uh, so. In my next video, I'll be showing you guys the swatching of, of this watercolor. So that's just my quick unboxing of my new Delarali Guouch 24 piece Guouch and my plastic, my new plastic watercolor palette. Well, next time in my next video, I hope to see you guys soon. Uh, thank you and please like, share and subscribe.